Hi, and welcome to the Body Design by Alyssa Restorative Pilates Workout. This whole workout is going to be centered around releasing muscles around your lower back and hips and strengthening weak muscles and releasing those tight muscles so you can live a more pain-free life. So the very beginning is going to be engaging your abdominals. This is going to be the most important part of the workout. And if this is your first time, it might take a few times till you actually understand this. So we're going to be focusing in on those lower abdominals. And your lower abdominals uh, attach on your hips and on your pubic bone. So almost starting uh, forming a triangle. So what I want you to do is sit up nice and tall. I don't want you to be leaning forward or leaning back. Really go straight down onto those booty bones. And I want you to almost envision your hip bones pulling together and you drawing up on your pubic bone. I like to think of a zipper, a zipper attaching to my pubic bone. And I'm feeling like I'm drawing my abdominals up from the pubic bone. You should feel if this is done properly, once you draw up on your pubic bone, you should naturally feel your abdominals pulling in. So let's practice that a few times. Feel like your hip bone and pubic bones are all pulling together. You should have a really nice sense of support. If you start feeling your lower back during this, ease off a little bit, just engage your abs enough that you feel a sense of support through your back, through your front and your back is pain-free. Once you have this pulling together, lifting up on the pubic bone, drawing in all those muscles below the belly button, then I want you to focus on your lower back. There's five vertebrae back there. I want you to envision your vertebrae getting traction, gaining space between those vertebrae. So your bottom vertebrae is right on top of your sacrum or your tailbone. So I want you to just think about lifting up higher and feeling a little bit of space, vertebrae off your sacrum. And then your next vertebrae lifts up. And then your next vertebrae lifts up. It's almost like you're getting traction. The next vertebrae lifts and the next vertebrae lifts. And you're completely supported through the front and your back is lifting up. This is actually a workout for your spine. So let's try that again. Deep in your lower abdominal muscles, feel the hip bone, all the muscles all the way across and zip up on that pubic bone. Another way to think about it is think about somebody pushing their finger into your head and you're, and you're pushing up into the finger, lengthening up. Or think about somebody drawing you up from the crown of your head by a string. And again, feel that traction up your spine. And let's do that one more time. This is really important because this is going to be how we begin literally every single exercise from here on out. So hip bone, pubic bone, pull that, feel them pulling together, zipper up on that pubic bone, either feel your vertebrae separating one at a time or feel like you're pushing into somebody's finger or feel like you're getting lifted up by a string. Perfect. Take that and we are going to add that into our abdominal crunch or an ab prep. Today, since today is about pain-free and length, we are going to keep our legs out on the floor long. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can always bend your knees. But I'm going to really reach through my heels. I'm going to take my hands right behind my head, right on the base of the skull. I'm going to feel my hip bone and pubic bones pulling together, lifting up on the pubic bone. Feel that traction through the spine. Press your head into your hands, hands into your head, and you're going to lengthen. I don't want you to think about how high you're lifting. I want you to think about how long you're making your body. Reach through the heels, reach through the crown of the head. Lengthen and lower. And again, deepen. Lengthen, push your head into your hands. Lengthen on up. Really feel like somebody's almost pulling you apart. And lower down. We're gonna do four more of these. We're really focusing in on the lower abdominals 
and focusing on that lower back so the rest of your ab muscles just work as you move. And two more times. I think I'm really I'm not good at counting. And lengthen and lower down. One more time, lengthen and lift. And we're going to do little pulses. Lengthen, lift a little bit and lower it down. You know you're working properly if you're feeling your abdominals, but your abs are staying flat. If you lift up and you feel your abs popping up, you're lifting up too high. And two more times. And last one, lengthen, hold, and lower it down. Good. Let's get a little bit more length. Reach through the fingertips and reach through the heels. Let's go ahead, flip on over for back extension. This is going to work your upper mid-back muscle. So your feet are going to be parallel. I want you to deepen those lower abdominals and tilt your pubic bone, press it into the floor, lengthen through the tailbone. You're going to pull the shoulders and the shoulder blades back, push your chest forward. Feel all the muscles below or all the muscles in the upper mid back between the shoulder blades and lengthen and lower it down. Abs connect. Lengthen through the spine. I want you to reach through your toes, reach through the crown of the head, push your chest forward, lengthen and lower it down. If you are feeling your lower back, you either need to engage your lower abdominals more, press that pubic bone into the mat, or not lift up quite so high. And two more times. And... We'll do one more. This is really, really great if you have a desk job. This is a really important exercise to do. Take those hands by the hips. Reconnect in those lower abdominals. Pull the shoulders and the shoulder blades back first to lengthen through the crown of the head and reach through the toes. Again, feeling this in between the shoulder blades and right along those mid-back muscles and lower down again if you are feeling this in your lower back you're lifting up too high or you need a little bit more lower abdominal connection and two more times good and reach feel like somebody's pulling you apart and one more time reach and hold and lower it down Make sure your knees are pointing straight down. Use your abdominals to help push you back into a shell stretch. And reach it forward. Engage those lower abdominals. Lengthen through the spine. Don't just sink into the stretch. Make sure your abs are engaged. Make sure you feel that traction. It's going to make all the difference, especially if you just hurt yourself. Good. And we're going to do the hundreds. And again, since today is more of a restorative Pilates workout, we're going to keep the legs down. Reach those legs out. You can always bend if that's more comfortable to you, for you. And reach through the heels, deep in those lower abdominals. Feel the hip bone, pubic bone pulling together. Zipper up on that pubic bone. Lengthen through the spine. Press the head into the hands, hands into the head. Lengthen up and lift. And hold right there. Push those heels into the ground. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, four, five, and exhale, two, Three, four, five, and inhale two, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, and inhale two, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, halfway. Three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, and inhale two, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, three more. Two, three, four, five, and exhale two, four, five, last two, two, three, four, five, and exhale two. Four, five, last one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, four, five, deep and lengthen, and lower it down. Again, reach those hands, 
above the head, reach those heels away, and come up to a seated position. We're going to flip over onto our hands and knees for a cat stretch. So the knees are going to be right over top of our hips, and our hands are going to be right underneath our shoulders. We're deepening the lower abdominals. And here, I also want you again, just in this position to feel like somebody's pulling back on your hips, reaching through the crown of your head. Feel the traction. We're gonna start off, and this is gonna make a huge difference if you've never done this before, but you're gonna press into your hands and feel like they're pulling backwards. So feel like your hands are pulling backwards, press into your feet, feel like they're pulling forwards. It's going to help engage your abdominals. Now tilt the pubic bone to engage the lower abdominals. Put more pressure into the hands and the knees that are pulling together as you lengthen and make a nice long C curve. You're not curving as much as you can. You're deepening the lower abdominals and seeing how long you can make your spine. And uncurl, resist coming back into a um, straight spine. And then again, press into the hands, pull back, press into the feet, pull forward, tilt the pubic bone, and lengthen. Good. And lengthen and return. You should feel actually quite a bit of abdominal work here if you're doing it properly. And we'll do three more here. And we're not going into an arched back at all. We're just coming straight back to a straight spine and resisting. Our abs are engaged as well when you're doing the long spine. And one more time. Nice. And relax, take it back into a shell stretch. Perfect. The next exercise feels great on the spine, but also works the obliques. So hands are going to be shoulder distance apart again, and the knees are going to be hip distance apart. So deep in the lower abdominals, you're going to stay in that long spine. Press into the right foot and the right hand. Feel them pull together while your knees or while your hips and your shoulders go off to the right. So you're going to be doing this, essentially. So we're going to be pressing, deepening. Push into the foot, push, pull, push into the hand, and pull them together. Deepen those lower abdominals. Now push into the left hand and foot, pull them together. Deepen the lower abdominals. And go ahead and take it side to side. Make sure those lower abdominals are engaging and make sure you're lengthening through your spine. If that's happening, you're not only going to feel a nice stretch through your spine, but you're also going to feel a really nice workout through your obliques. Good. Make sure those abs are pulling up and away from your shirt. Good. And we'll do two more here. And pull. And last one. Perfect. Take it back into a shell stretch. And again, deepen those lower abdominals, lengthen, feel traction through the spine. Good. Let's do a spine stretch forward. Again, working those abdominals, but also stretching through the hamstrings. So your legs are going to be straight out. You're going to be seated, not forward, not back, right on top of your hips. If you need to, you can always go crisscross applesauce or actually sit on a chair. Most important thing is you can get the length through the spine. So we're here. We're deepening the lower abdominals. Feel the hip bone, feel the pubic bone, zipper up, feel traction, and push your tush into the ground while you reach through the crown of the head and gently press down on your hands while you lengthen over. It's not about how Close you can get to the ground is about how long you can make your spine while deepening your lower abdominals. Push it to your thighs while you bring it up to a straight spine. And again, deepen, lengthen, push, and press away. 
reach through the crown of the head, feel that traction, feel that oppositional pull. And if you're seated like me, really try reaching through your heels. And two more times, deepen, lengthen, pressure down on the thighs to help engage the abdominals and reach through the crown of the head. Good, and put pressure back up. Good, and one more time, deepen, lengthen, gentle pressure down as you reach. Good, and bring it back up. Nice, and we're going to do one more exercise today, and it's gonna be the saw. Very similar to the exercise that we just did. Your legs are going to be wider than your mat or wider than hip distance. You're going to reach your arms out to the side. Again, um, your, your shoulders are right on top of your hips. You're reaching your arms out deep in the lower abdominals, lengthen through the spine. Push your tush down, lift up through the crown of the head. You're going to deepen those abdominals even more as you twist. Keep pushing through the heel that you're, you're going to chop off your pinky toe for and reach, feel the oblique working, push your tush down, reach through the crown of the head, feel the traction, stay twisted as you flex up or come back up to the straight spine and bring it back center. Again, deep in the lower abdominals, twist and grow taller, chop off your pinky toe, feel the oblique working on the side that you're twisted towards. Stay twisted as you come back up to the straight spine and bring it back and we'll do four more here. Again, really make sure you're engaging your lower abdominals. The engagement in the lower abdominals really intensifies the work on the obliques. It also helps to make sure that your back is staying safe while you're doing the stretch. Good. And we only have two more to go. Twist and grow taller. Chop off your pinky toe. Good. And I also should have said this. I really like reaching through both hands. Really feel like somebody's pulling your hands apart. It gets you deeper into the twist. And it helps you to feel your obliques more. And bring it back center. And relax. This workout is perfect any time of the week, but especially if you're feeling any pain or soreness in your hips and back. And if you do this workout, it will help to realign your spine and recalibrate your workout to recapture the real you. I'll see you next time.